This is Lady Macbeth's monologue from Act 1, Scene 5 of Macbeth, written by William Shakespeare. They met me in the day of success, and I've learned that by the perfectest report they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burned in desire to question them further, they made themselves air into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came misses from the king who all hailed me Thane of Cordor, by which title before these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming on of time with hail. King thou shalt be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness that thou mightst not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness has promised thee. Let to thy heart and farewell. Grams thou art, and cordial, and shalt be what thou art promised. Yet I do fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness. I mean, to catch the nearest way thou wouldst be great, art not without ambition, without the illness that should attend it. What thou wast highly, Thou wast holily, wouldst not play false, and yet wouldst strongly win. Thou dost have great glams that cries, thus thou must do, if thou have it. And that which rather thou dost fear to do, than wishes should be undone. Hie thee hither, that I may pour my spirits in thine ear, and chastise with the valour of my tongue all that impedes me from the golden round, that fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have thee crowned withal. The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, ye spirits that tender mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood, stop up the excess and passage to remorse that no compunctuous visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gold, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your sightless substances you, you wait on nature's mischief, come thick night and pull thee in the dunnest smoke of hell that my keen eye see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, hold, hold. Great clowns, a worthy cordial, greater than both by the all hail hereafter. Uh, thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant present, and I feel now the future in an instant. Oh, never shall sunlight mirror see. Your face, my Thane, is a book where men may read strange matters. Uh, to beguile the time, look like the time, bear welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look like an innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. He that's coming must be provided for. And you shall put this night's great business into my dispatch, which shall to all our nights and days to come give solely sovereign sway and masterdom.